Hello everyone, my name is Darius Young and welcome back to my tutorial series that I'll be making on YouTube. Uh, this is a brand new one in which I will be showing you all how to model this character. I created this character fairly recently for a modeling class. Um, we had to make a model sheet and fully model and rig and texture this character. Uh, now I'm actually ahead of my class so the rest of my uh, fellow students haven't finished yet but um, I decided since I am finished that I might as well make a tutorial on how to do it since I haven't made one uh, on YouTube in a, a pretty long time. <laughs> so without further ado let's jump into it. Alright everyone so uh, in the description I will include the uh, appropriate background image for you all to use um, but I start off all of my tutorials the same way uh, so I'm just going to hit 5 on the number pad, go into orthographic mode, hit 1 go in the front view, I'm going to set up our background images here so we're going to click that box, go to add image open, go to wherever you saved your background image there we go so here's the model sheet that we'll be using. Uh, don't worry about the face too much because we're, you know, the we don't need a separate sheet for the face considering how simple the face is. It's just a kid with a mask on. So <clears throat> let's get started. So I'm gonna want to line this up in the center first. So let's come down here to our options. Let's move it on the X a bit. And before we really get going. Let's just move this to the front and turn the opacity down a little bit. There we go. So now we have a better idea of where the center is. Alright, so as you can see the value here is negative 0.4 and we want it to be a little bit over here so we're gonna make this negative 0.41 how about negative 0.415? There we go. I think that's perfectly in the center. So type in the value of negative 4 or negative 0.415 for the x. And we're going to move it up on the y so that the feet match this red line here. So just. And let's go with 1.415. Oh, 05. There we go. So now his feet are flat on the ground. So now we have to do is just open this same image on the side. Uh, so let's let's keep this on all views temporarily while we open our other image. And you can just go into this little image cage here that already has the last image we loaded and just load it in the next image after you hit add image. So we're going to do the same numbers for the y 1.05. So now it's in the generally the same direction and we're going to flip this horizontally so that the side view is facing this way. And we're going to move this on the x until the side view matches and it does. We're also going to move this to the front and we're going to turn its opacity down to 0.217. There we go. So and now we can dictate which views we want. Um, so click all views on the top one select front and then on the right one click all views and select right so now when I hit three on the number pad it's in the right view one on the number pad it's in the front view good so let's get started modeling so let's tab in the edit mode if you if you don't have your cube selected just right click on it I'm gonna get rid of that because we don't need it and I'm actually gonna go uh, full screen here so just not full screen mode but you know just hit shift and space bar to hide all your other menus because we're just going to be strictly focusing on modeling right now uh, so again hit tab go into edit mode that's your cube selected scale that down about right here 
so let's bring this up. All right, so we're going to grab this bottom face and move it to the bottom of the belt here. And now we can start shaping this. Let's go in the edge mode here. Just gonna bring that out. Bring this one out too. Bring this in. Try to try to guess to the best of your ability where uh, his body lies within his um, his outfit here. Um, it's okay though, because you know it's it's not it's not too hard to figure out. Just have to be savvy with it. Okay, now let's take these two faces here. Scale those on the x-axis, like so, and scale that loop in on the x-axis as well, and then we can bring this up on the z about there, and so we're going to have an edge loop here and here for the belt. So you see I'm just starting with a simple shape and just kind of blocking out everything as I go. Um, but now it would be a good time to delete the top and bottom faces so we have a, a hole in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into edge mode and we're going to bevel these. So you see, we've very quickly rounded out our character. <clears throat> and now what we have to do, add an edge loop in the center, right click, left click, right click. So now it's dead in the center. And what we're going to do now is hit Z, go into wireframe, go to vertices, select this side here, and delete the vertices. Going to hit shift and space bar again. We're going to go to our modifiers tab here and we're going to add a mirror modifier. We're going to add clipping onto that. Make sure clipping is turned on so that it doesn't move from the center. That's good. Let's hit Z again and now we have an opening for the neck which we can now extrude and scale and bring in scale and position. So now we have a good reference for the neck and the rest of the body. So everything is coming along nice and smoothly. Just move some vertices around real quick because we're going to make the shape that's necessary for the arm to come in. I'm going to edge slide this over a bit so that it's not pinching. There we go. All right, so let's select probably this top face here, and yes, it was. And just move this over like so. Select that edge, maybe move it over here, and just trying to get it as close to the background image as possible. You don't have to be you know, 150% accurate with it as long as you get the general idea of what's going on. Okay, so this is going to be the face for the arm. So if that's going to be the face for the arm, then this is going to be the chest. So still keeping the edge on, just going to move that down. So there we go. So these will, these faces here represent the pectorals. 
pretty much. So we'll add an edge loop in there. We'll bring these out. And then we'll start shaping how we want the arm to come in. Want these to go down. Okay, then we extrude the shoulders like so and bring them up this way, edge mode, bring these out and bring this up. <clears throat> ring of faces and we're gonna smooth those so I set my smooth to alt Q you can do that by right clicking and going to uh, yours will say add shortcut my says change shortcut but once you get to the shortcut just type the buttons that you want to use for the shortcut and then it'll make it'll make that so <clears throat> so just fixing some things up Okay, and we might want to add an edge loop through here just to be able to give the shoulder some more definition. There we go, I like that a lot better. All right, so now we're gonna start trying to match it up here so that Everything is in order. Move that down. <clears throat> okay, so let's move these two vertices up. And actually, let's select these faces and rotate them this way, whoops, rotate them. Now, <clears throat> generally you'd like, you want to leave a space in here. Um, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. We're just gonna add an edge loop in here and we're gonna move that down there. Now I'm going to edge slide these vertices that are up top but I want to keep the I want to keep this kind of space in here because your shoulder doesn't just it doesn't just go chest shoulder arm there's a space in be like underneath your shoulder for the uh, armpit and so that's what that's what this little space is I try to keep that in mind while I'm modeling All right, and now let's extrude the arms. So there we go. And I just shape these up. See how we have that little space there? So it, it it's gonna it's gonna when we rig it, it's gonna actually move like a a shoulder and a armpit would because we intentionally left that space in there <clears throat> to suggest the armpit which is a general good idea you also wanna try to keep a good eye on your edge flow excuse me if you can hear the fire truck in the background that's why I'm putting this on YouTube instead of uh, Udemy <laughs> Okay. All right. How long have I been?
been recording. All right. Uh, so that'll be it for this tutorial and the next one I'm going to show you guys. We're, we're just going to continue to model everything. We're probably going to finish modeling his uh, pants and or at least get the legs suggested in there. And then we're going to do the gloves, the boots, and everything else. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.